do any of these jobs. They're terrible. What's happening guys? It's Shane here. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the jobs that are disappearing the fastest. And no, I'm not talking about jobs that have been affected by the recent worldwide incident that I won't name due to monetization purposes. I'm talking about careers that are going the way of the milkman, ice cutters, and window knockers. Yes, that's right. Before alarm clocks, people would literally come and knock on your windows so that you weren't late to work. They would tap on the window just like all of my amazing viewers tap on the like button to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. Now, some of these jobs that I'm gonna mention are dying really slowly, and then others are dying really quickly. Some are really obvious ones that you would expect, and other ones were extremely surprising. But by the end of the video, you will know what to look for in a job to see if it's going to be able to survive the coming age of automation. First one on the list, number seven, is going to be telephone operators. Now, the median annual wage, according to BLS, is about $35,700 a year, and the projected job growth in the next 10 years is an awful negative 28%. So to put this in perspective, the average career is going to grow around 5% in that same time span. So this one kind of makes sense if you think about it. These are the people who used to basically, you know, take out the this one and then put it in here and like make sure everything's good and make sure you were talking to the right person when you dialed the number. They would also help you if anything went wrong with the call or maybe you were charged a lot more than you should have been. Now, a few types of these operators will probably still keep their job, just like the ones who work for the government and secretly listen to our conversations. But overall, I think it's pretty obvious why this one is dying. They're being replaced by automation, and it's also pretty easy to outsource their job. Number six on the list is going to be electronic equipment installers. They make around $37,300 a year, and they're growing at about negative 29%. Now, this one's actually kind of funny because you can tell it's outdated by the name itself. This is your name. My name. Like, what other type of equipment are they going to be installing? Coal-powered equipment? Gas-powered equipment? Now, the bulk of the people that are employed in this profession actually install these things in cars and different motor vehicles. And over the years, the electrical systems in these cars have gotten better and better, and they're just not requiring that much maintenance anymore. And for a lot of people, why hire someone to do it when you can just watch a YouTube video and figure it out on your own? Number five on the list is going to be watch repairers. They make a little bit more at about 42500 but unfortunately the job growth is negative 30 percent there are a surprising amount of guys out there that are huge watch enthusiasts but overall this is a dying industry and here's why first of all not that many people wear watches in the first place because of the fact that we have smartphones with us second of all the few people who do wear watches tend to wear much cheaper brands so let's be honest here if a 20 dollars watch or a 50 dollars watch breaks instead of getting it fixed you're probably just going to get a new watch I think the only people that are going to stay employed in this profession are people who specialize in repair Repairing high-end watches, but that's honestly not going to be very many of them. Number four on the list is going to be word processors and typists. They make about $40,300 a year and they are growing at negative 34%. So these are basically like the people in the courtroom that are typing everything the lawyers and the judge says, or maybe they're the people that are in a meeting that are taking the minutes for a meeting and typing everything that everyone else says. And in the past, these people would actually be there in person. But with the onset of technology, what they're able to do is they can just have a system that automatically transcribes it, and it's pretty accurate overall. And then if they want it to be even more accurate, what they can do is just record everything and then have someone else that is overseas and they can hire for much cheaper, just transcribe it. So this is one that's very easily outsourced and automated. Number three on the list is going to be parking enforcement workers. That's right, this one is gonna make you smile, meter maids. Oh wait, you just had to park a second to drop off a letter at the post office? Not so fast, here's a $20 fine. Everybody's favorite profession out there has a median annual wage of about $40,900 and it's growing at an astounding negative 37%. Now, I'm not gonna say too much about this. I think everybody knows what meter maids do. They basically just like walk around parking lots and alleys waiting for somebody to park without paying and then slapping tickets on their car. Now, this one is dying because of the fact that they can just do mail and camera and all that. And then if they find out that you park somewhere, they can just mail you a ticket instead of putting one on your car. So this is another one that's basically being taken out by automation and technology. Number two on the list was extremely 
surprising to me, and it's respiratory therapist technicians. Now, out of all of them on this list, they actually make a pretty good living at about $51,800 a year, but they are growing at an incredibly slow negative 58%. Now, these are basically just the people who assist respiratory therapists and different physicians that work with patients who have lung issues. And this one was very surprising to me because most healthcare degrees have amazing outlooks. But when I looked into it, this is another profession that is largely being replaced by technology. And this just goes to show you that it's always worth it for you to do your research and plan ahead even if you're going into a career that you think is really solid. Number one on the list is going to be locomotive firers. They make about $39,800 a year and wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. They are growing at a negative 68% rate. Woo! Now these are basically the people who keep the trains safe. They monitor all kinds of things from the equipment on the train itself to stuff actually being on the track and making sure there's nothing on there that's going to derail the train. But much of their job has actually been replaced with technology and the part that hasn't been replaced is usually replaced by other people that are on the train. So the job that they used to be responsible for is now done by the conductor or the locomotive engineer. So I think you notice similarities with all of these different professions. I think you can probably take something away from this. A few things to take away obviously is you should always do your research no matter what. But even if you do your research, I think you should also just have common sense in mind. If it's a type of job that you think could be either outsourced or replaced by technology very easily, then you probably shouldn't go into it. Watch my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas that you have. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.